Well, Death Note's about a high school kid um, in, living in Seattle who essentially, you know, gets a notebook that falls out of the sky. And, uh, and it turns out that if you write somebody's name and you know what their face looks like uh, into the notebook, that you can control how they die. Rule one, the human whose name is written in this note shall die. Whoa. My overall approach to the sound is, you know, that I, I kind of want it to feel a little bit like a throwback, but also something that you've never heard before. So there's a lot of 80s influence in it. And I've worked with Andy Hay, the sound mixer, on pretty much everything I've done since You're Next. And so we have a really good shorthand in terms of, you know, just our, our the way we work together. So our sound team on Death Note is largely myself and Jeff Pitts, uh, basically co-supervising. And uh, on the mix side, it's myself and Greg Rudloff. We have a score that is provided by Atticus and Leo Ross that is an amazing score. Adam is great to work with. It's, he's very collaborative. He's one of the filmmakers that's willing to sit with you all day long, but he lets you do your thing. And it's all about engaging the audience. It's all about drawing them in. I've been a fan of Death Note for like 10 years now. And so I knew that I wanted to, you know, tip my hat towards uh, Japan. I wanted to make sure that those themes carried over in some very subtle ways. So I flew to Tokyo, didn't know what I was going to get, and I recorded in Tokyo. And my idea initially when I went there was to take background sounds from Tokyo and lace those into the Seattle backgrounds and have these things kind of intertwine. Um, and that worked out well. So Willem Dafoe plays Ryuk, the Shinigami, the death god character. Um, and we did three or four ADR sessions with him uh, in a motion capture environment where his face is all marked up and he's wearing a helmet with lights and cameras um, capturing, so not only his, his voice, but also his, his face motion. Hey kid, <laughs> it's pronounced Ryuk. Ryuk. Oh, hi. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Well, working here at uh, the Paramount Technicolor is great. I mean, this is the second film that I've mixed here. There's always like this, you know, just an assurance that what you're hearing here is exactly, you know, what you're gonna hear everywhere else. And it's only since I've, you know, started coming here that I can actually sleep at night, you know, at the end of the mix knowing that like, okay, we got it. You know, it's gonna, it, it sounds right. What we hear here is exactly what it is. And, you know, that's, that's all you can really hope for. This film really encapsulates a little bit of horror, thriller, action, you know, there's funny stuff, there's sci-fi elements. It's really, it, it pretty much has everything. It even has a character singing, so technically it has a musical moment. So I think it really does like, you know, cover all the genres in a lot of ways. <laughs>